What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Foot vs Fire career card to review and it's a card that is looking top tier but it's a player that we have I reckon all used. He, I think he was the most used player at the start of the year. It was genuinely ridiculous how cheap he, how cheap he was and how good he was. Like he had the dribbling, the pace, the shooting. He literally had it all with the 4 star skills and the 4 star weak foot. You really couldn't go wrong for the price you picked up his gold card for now obviously over time the gold card kind of became a little bit expired as people started moving on to other strikers but now he is back with his foot versus fire card and he is looking top tier he's got 88 pace 90 dribbling 89 shooting 82 passing with a 77 physicals as well now one thing i would say i am disappointed in i thought the foot versus fire cards were all gonna have five star weak foot and the foot versus uh, ice card was going to have five star skill moves that's what i thought the promo was going to be about but i am looking at a career with four star skill moves and a four star weak foot so i'm kind of confused but hey it is what it is he's i i already know the card's going to probably be really really good either way now if we are comparing him to his gold card we are looking at a plus three to pace a plus three to dribbling a plus six to shooting a plus four to passing a plus three to defending and a plus three to physicals as well now this card ain't cheap like 423k he's a lot of coins so he better better be worth it he's a five foot seven player with high medium work rates four star skill moves and a four star weak foot now when it comes down to the chem style i have decided to go for the hunter chem style i feel like him being five foot seven and obviously having those kind of dribbling stats i feel like it's going to be more than enough i know this guy is probably going to feel amazing on the ball so i can just go ahead and give him some outrageous pace while also giving him some outrageous shooting stats as well the hunter chem style is giving this guy 99 acceleration with 98 sprint speed while also giving him 95 attack and positioning 99 finishing 94 shot power 92 long shots 99 volleys with with 69 penalties as well i don't know why that was so hard to actually calculate but yeah shootings wise it's looking up there isn't it is looking top top tier now has he got any shooting traits unfortunately he does not hey it is what it is with those kind of shooting stats i doubt he's really going to need them now his passing ability is looking like the average striker passing you know with the short passing being quite high and the long passing being quite low it's perfectly fine i don't really mind if his long passing is uh decently low let's say because i doubt i'm gonna go for these crazy passes down the line i'll probably keep it very simple with him as i said the dribbling stats look top tier especially him being five foot seven i'm expecting him to feel amazing on the ball and he's physicals for a five foot seven player 64 strength and 82 aggression is actually really really nice usually what players are like extremely extremely small well i mean five at seven is not really extremely small but just small in general let's say usually see way lower strength and way lower aggression but hey the fact that he's got decent strength and decent aggression i'll happily take it he also has got 85 stamina as well which means he will be lasting for the whole of the 90 minutes now when it comes down to the links argentina atletico madrid aka La Liga. The links are top tier. You can link this guy with a Lionel Messi. You can link this guy with that Adidas Di Maria card. You can link him up with like a Lorente. There's so many good players that you can link him up with. It is genuinely ridiculous. I have just gone for Ferland Mendy. Nakata, once again, he's literally in every single player of you. And your boy Vinny as well. I have to put him into the team. I literally paid like 800k for this card. So you best believe we're going to use him. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing Korea. In one position. I'm only going to play him in a striker position today. In a 4-4-2 formation. I feel like him in a cam position. With 70 long passing. It's not really going to work out. Him down the line though. I might actually. Yeah I might actually give the lamb position a go. Because that pace is incredible. And the dribbling is incredible as well. So yeah lamb position. And a striker position. 4-4-2. And a 4-2-3-1. Is the formations I will be using today. So let's get into the games. Just chip it into the middle. There you go. Stroikov. Give it to Korea now. Go for a few touches, see how he feels on the ball. Very nice little precise left stick dribbling. And I tried to pull out a quick skill move to get in front of the player, but it didn't work out. But yeah, left stick dribbling there seemed very nice. I'm just going to play that forward because I see Stroikov just sitting there. Korea. Oh, if he had a bit more strength there, he could have maybe hold off Kempembe. But he's done well to get round Varane. And can I get the finish? No, we cannot. That's a clear cut opportunity as well. That needs to go in. I see you, Vinny, trying to give me that passing option. There you go. Oh, Korea made a nice run, but we didn't see it. Let's see if we can pass down to him. Yes, we can. Nice instant turn. 
What's happening right now? What, what, what is this? Nah, 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 nah. Curry up. Like, I've seen your gold card finish better than this. Just give him the ball. Because he's literally sitting there waiting for it. Vinny, can I all be yayed at to him? Yes, I can. Very nice instant touch. Really, really good dribbling ability. And we green it this time with that weaker foot. And it makes and it goes just straight into the corner. The keeper had no chance. And this guy's paused it. At 1-0, he's rage quitting? Okay. Pass it early. That's a good pass. Let's take a few touches there. Nice. Can I go through the gap? Yes, I can. Smack it across goal. No. Is that... Is that Lloris again? I believe that is Lloris again, man. And he's saving another opportunity. That's the thing about Korea, though. The fact that you can create yourself that kind of angle that quickly with just his left stick dribbling is simply incredible. It just shows you how good his dribbling is. Go, Vinny. Run. There you go. Use that pace. Keep it going. I reckon, yeah, Kempembe is probably going to catch up. Nice touch. Smack it across goal. We green time it as well. And it goes top bins. Just give it to Vinny here. That's a good touch as well. Can I get round Varane? I can, but Korea has came over. And he's been completely pushed onto the ground. I think that's the second time now that he's actually been completely pushed over. It's like he's getting bullied off the ball. Well played, Vinny. Played that first time. Where am I going to go? I'm just going to accelerate here. Ball rolled that. Nice turn. I ain't got, obviously, the five-star skill moves, but we got the left stick dribbling. Keep it going. Get round him. Nice. Anyone? Shot cancel the keeper. No, there's not. No, no, no. There's no way Varane actually recovers there. I don't even know if he was actually controlling him. It didn't seem like it, right? That should have ended in a goal. I'm going to fake this out. Just RBA him straight to the ball. Good drip. Look at that, man. Use the pace now. No. I, oh. Oh. Hey, there you go, man. It was very lucky to get a rebound. We all know it was. But hey, we'll happily take that goal. But yeah, the drilling ability there. Just the spinning circles of him. Crazy good. It's just that acceleration touch that he tried to do. Didn't really come off nicely. He's going to make that run in behind. He is going to make that run in behind. I like how he realizes where the open space is. Even though he's playing in a striker position, he still notices it down the line. And we've gone for it. And look at that for a finish. It was green timed. It obviously was a finesse shot, but... I wasn't expecting it to go top in. Play that through ball. He's literally in behind. Come on, man, Stroikov. That took us a long time to actually through ball that ball. But look at the dribbling. Look at the dribbling. Fake shot that. Pass it into the middle. And Vinny, I was about to say, is not going to miss that opportunity. But Larice, all of a sudden, wants to turn up. Like, how has he saved that? Play that down. Play that into the middle there. Ball roll. Nice. Well played. He has to finish that. Yeah, that's like a clear-cut opportunity. If that doesn't go in, I'll be very surprised gonna ball roll that down pass to him and i was gonna go for the switcher play here but i remembered that he's long passing isn't the greatest so i'm just gonna trust in his pace and i ended up yellow timing it get that ball nakata well played man really good press i kind of want to go for a one two here see if i can just get him in behind good touch fake that out well played come on korea no i've read timed Oh, I thought for a second he was actually going to go in. I did end up red timing it. I thought he was going to take that instant shot because I saw the keeper coming out. So I thought he was going to go for that animation. He clearly didn't. We end up red timing it and we end up missing the opportunity. Somehow we've got a penalty in the 22nd minute. Honestly, I have no idea. I, I didn't even get tackled. The ball was nowhere near the, nowhere near the box, but I'll happily take it. 69 penalties. Mm, not the greatest. I'm trying to aim top bins here. Can I move it over slightly? There you go. Oh, I, I'm going to be honest. This might miss. Yellow times. Oh, he goes side netting. That was a good finish. Vinny, use that pace. You know you got that 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. But look at Korea. Look at his pace. No. I tried to sweat the ball as well. I mean, that's what I get for sweating the opportunity, right? It's just, I feel like Korea deserved that goal because that pace, compared to the defender, he left him. Go, Nakata. Go. Use that pace. There you go. I'm just going to play that into the middle to Korea now. And now I've got options everywhere. I can go right. I can go all the way down there. But you know what? I'm going to go for the most unexpected move and just literally just run with him. He's paced there. Incredible. Shooting ability. I feel like, mm, I mean, it was a hard angle. It honestly was. So maybe I wasn't expecting him to score that kind of opportunity there. But he did do well to kind of get it on target and stuff. Let's go for a tactic here. Give him the ball. Give it back to Korea. He's got that good long shots to his game. So those kind of shots... Should be, you know, should be going in time to time. That's the thing of it, man. Good long shots, good shot power. It's always going to end up something like that. Turn around, Nakata. There you go. Nice pass. I could pass that all the way up, but I feel like I'm just going to trust in his shooting ability on that four-star weak foot 
and just turn and shoot. Look at that for a finish. I think I literally went top in. Anyone going to give me the option? There you go. Nice run, Korea. Good touch to get around that player as well. Nice use of pace. There you go. Can I get that RBA across? Yes, I can. But Navas is going to save that opportunity. How am, I, how am I not scoring here? I don't understand. Like, Korea once again doing amazing to use his pace to get in behind. He's dribbling there being perfect as well. The pass was perfect. It's just apparently the finish let's, let us down. Just keep it going here. Korea's making a nice run, but I'm not actually going to play it. He instantly sees that. Cuts back. Keep going. Nice. Oh, my. please, please. Who was that? Who have we just done that to? I don't even know who that is. I honestly don't. He was on the floor. He was begging me to stop, apparently. I cannot believe what we have just done to that defender. And the finish as well. It was nice. Very nice. Turn there. Go for that pass. He actually kind of read it. But Korea is going to do so well. I don't think we should have actually came out with that ball. But on a left foot, on a four-star weak foot, that seemed like a terrible shot as well. It didn't seem like he had, a lot, he had a, like a lot of power on it. He had a lot of accuracy behind it, clearly. Bro, make that run. There you go. Play that through ball. That's an unreal pass from Vinny. Just chip him. Please go in. I was about to say, man, that run from Korea, he's moving in the striker position. It's different. It's completely different. And the, the weight of the pass from Vinny was perfect. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing four games with Korea. We scored 10 goals and we didn't come out with a single assist. I don't know how. The amount of opportunity he created for the players around him was stupid. Genuinely stupid. And he should have came out with at least one or even two assists. The fact that he came out with zero, I would say is kind of embarrassing. I honestly would. Like, I cannot believe he didn't come out with a single one. He sweated the ball three times across the goal. And the three times, the player, at the end of it, missed it. I, I really don't know what to say. But hey, I would take the double digit goals happily. Now, this is the thing, right? You look at the double digit goals, the 10 goals in four games, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, his shooting with a T clearly is top tier. I'm going to be honest. No, it isn't. Like, there was a lot of opportunities, I must admit. It surprised me. Like, it went top ins, it got hit with a lot of power. Okay, right. But that's what you expect off those kind of shooting stats, right? But then there was other opportunities where he was missing clear cuts, missing the whole target, hitting it down the middle. And I can definitely see the shooting ability is quite inconsistent. So, yeah, I'm definitely not going to sit here and say his shooting is anything crazy, crazy good. Because the chances that I saw he missed was like very, very questionable. It's just there was a lot of other opportunities that he did slot at home. So, yeah, in most cases, he has got a clinical finish. But there's a you know there's other opportunities that he will miss that you would think he would absolutely bury it into the bottom corner now i would say the most surprising thing about him was the dribbling ability i cannot believe how good his dribbling ability was i'm talking about you know messi kind of left stick dribbling you saw it you saw how i was just dropping defenders with just moving around i couldn't believe it myself like how responsive it is how good like how agile he is how uh his ball control is very nice him and Ty situations he can get out of it it was honestly incredible so yeah Lionel Messi kind of dribbling and the one thing I would say I was disappointed in was the physicals I don't know man 74 strength 82 aggression it didn't seem like it I'm gonna be honest it did not seem like it there was a lot of occasions where he just got pushed onto the ground a lot and I really really didn't like it for a player that had 74 strength I thought he was gonna be way way stronger than what he actually was now if I say if I I'm playing Korea, my team, let's say. Where would I play him? I feel like a cam or striker position. I feel like those two are definitely the way to go. I feel like down the line, he is definitely good there with like the pace and stuff. It's just with how many times he got just completely pushed off the, pushed like off the ground, not off the ground, sorry, off the ball. I feel like it was very, very annoying to the point where in that cam position, you don't really get into a lot of those kind of opportunities. So yeah, cam or striker. Pro most likely cam though. I don't really mind the long passing being 70. I'll just force him to obviously just keep it simple. Now the card is going for a good amount of coins. 360,000 coins. Do I believe it's worth it? 360k is a reasonable price. Do I believe he will drop though? I reckon he will because you have to keep in mind I'm pi I've picked this card up for like two hours after he's actually came out. So yeah 100% he will drop in price but 350k Honestly, it's not bad. I do believe it's worth it. Now, where would I put him in the attacker's tier list? In the A tier, we got players like Ben Yedda, players like Benzema. Do I believe this card is better than Ben Yedda? I don't. Do I believe he is better than Benzema? 
I mean, they're two completely different players, right? Korea feels way better on the ball than Benzema, but then I feel like Benzema actually has way more pace and I feel like he's got a better shooting ability as well while also having that physicality. But at the same time, I would definitely not put him into the B tier. So yeah, an A tier for ver foot versus fire Korea. That's a quite a bit of a mouthful, let's all be fair. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.